The Construction and Assembly Mobile Platform, or CAMP for short, is a key feature which allows players to construct their own dwellings. It can be moved to another location for a small amount of caps. Players on a private team can build objects at their teammates' CAMP even when the owner has not learned the plan for the object built, as long as it is not Atomic Shop. Players can also freely use furniture and appliances at another CAMP, though bypassing locked objects will result in the wanted penalty. Buildable vending machines let players buy and sell items to others. CAMPs can be attacked by hostile creatures or other players, and all destroyed parts of a CAMP can be instantly repaired as long as the player has the materials. While initially only one CAMP per character was allowed, a free second slot arrived with the one wasteland for all update, which also introduced shelters. Shelters have less strict building restrictions when it comes to placing items, as they are interior locations and not part of the actual game world, even though some items cannot be built inside them. Additional CAMP slots and shelter variants can be purchased from the Atomic Shop. Workshops are temporary CAMPs primarily used for material farming. Each workshop has a predefined amount of resource deposits available, which can be harvested by building mineral extractors. Just like shelters, certain items are prohibited from being built at a workshop. Control over a workshop is lost if a player leaves a server. Much like settlements in Fallout 4, CAMPs, shelters, and workshops all have a budget limiting the number of items that can be built. Each buildable item has its own value contributing to the budget. Allies act like housemates and each one has their own piece of furniture which can be placed at a CAMP to summon them. Only one ally can be active at any given time. Three allies, Settler Wanderer, Settler Forager, Raider Punk, can be recruited if they are found wandering outside. These allies assign daily quests resembling Radiant quests. Sophia Daguerre and Beckett, found in fixed locations, are unique in that they offer their own narrative questlines. An additional seven, Light allies, were obtainable through seasonal scoreboards. If they were not, they may be obtained after maxing Foundation's reputation and spending 4,000 gold. Allies have their unique benefits. They may be vendors or offer certain temporary bonuses. For example, Speaking with Maul temporarily raises strength. Certain bonuses, such as Lover's Embrace, may only be accessed after meeting a personal reputation criteria. With the exception of Daphne and Maul, the player can customize their alley's clothes.